a seven-year-old Fairhope boy, the victim of a hit and run. He remains in the hospital tonight, recovering from a severe concussion. Police continue looking for the driver of a late model Ford Explorer who they believe hit the boy. It happened on Twin Beach Road near Founders Park in Fairhope shortly after 6 o'clock last night. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us live tonight. James, you spoke with the woman who stopped to help that injured little boy. I did, and she said as the boy and his 8-year-old sister said that they were okay, not to worry, but she knew better. I heard the kid screaming, and so I ran across the street because he was on the other side, and um, I saw the big welt in his head, and I thought maybe he fell off the bike or what have you, and so I asked him both, what happened? Are you okay? And they said that he got hit by a car. Noelle Shulman says she believes she pulled over moments after the 70 year old boy was struck. Police say the boy and his sister were on their bikes riding home from the local Dollar General store at Twin Beach and Founders Drive. The boy was apparently struck a block east of the intersection, which has a crosswalk and sidewalks for safety. Still, what happened here was serious. And so I scooped him up, he put his arms around me, and I carried him and then by that time somebody else was there with me and they helped. I was like, okay, let's get in the car and just sit in the car and let's call the police. And they were like, no, don't call the cops. I'm like, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we have to go. You have to go to the hospital. So it's a possibility maybe the kids were headed into traffic. Don't know that for a fact. Regardless, police say the driver who hit the 70 year old should have stopped and did not. You wonder, was alcohol involved? Were they scared? You know, is it somebody that may have had a warrant on? We don't know. It could be, you know, a multitude of reasons. City Council Member Corey Martin lives in the same neighborhood. He says it's a 35 mile an hour zone, but drivers go much too fast here. We cannot control people. You know, um, I think good people need to do what's right in this situation and come back and report and, and, and turn themselves in. Um, but as a council, we will consider since we had this accident happen. A missing piece off the suspected vehicle is now in evidence. Police say they believe the child was struck by a late model Ford Explorer. We believe it's probably going to be passenger side, uh, maybe even a side mirror, things like that on the passenger side of this vehicle. Meantime, the boy's parents tell police that he is doing much better tonight. For now, we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon. NBC 15 News.